Okay. I uh, welcome you all uh, to Success Complex PCI to uh, 2021 uh, Make It Simple Technical Forum A to G. So we are gonna start the four slug cases uh, from the Asam Medical Center, Korea. And I am very happy to have a distinguished moderator, Young Gi Hong from Korea, Alan Young from you know, United States. And we have many, you know, a distinguished uh, panelists here, Dr. Kefei uh, Do, uh, Dr. Lu Hong Go, Dr. Ho Lam, uh, Dr. Shigeru Nakamura here. Dr. Wassan and Dr. Uh, Abdul Laman here. So, so thank you all uh, for joining us again. All right, uh, Dr. Dokuba. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right. Okay, you? I can hear you. And uh, thank you. Study. Okay, the good morning and good afternoon and good evening for all audience <laughs> from the world. And so I'm happy to, this is not recorded uh, case. This is a real live case demonstration. Uh, in Asam Medical Center. I'm D.W. Park from Asam Medical Center. We are very happy to show a real live case demonstration for all of the, uh, the all audience. And uh, uh, I'm going to introduce the first uh, assistant, Dr. Do Yun Gang, Professor Do Yun Gang in Asam Medical Center, Dr. Kosadi, and the international fellow from Saudi Arabia. And we prepared the very, very, very complex left main multi vessel live case demonstration, first, uh, first case and second case. Uh, so, and uh, Dr. Gang, can you introduce a uh, patient background and history? Yes, the patient is a 55 year old male, and referred for in, for angina two months ago. And he had a typical chest pain and uh, relieved by the, the rest. And he has been treated by the medical treatment, but was not. Uh, was detectable. So he had a history of diabetes. Next. Next. Yeah, he had a history of diabetes and dyslipidemia and ex smoker till 20 years ago. Next. And EKG showed the normal science rhythm without significant abnormality. Next. And chest PA also showed the normal size of the uh, heart. Next. And the echo showed normal ejection fraction, but showed the warm motion abnormality in the LA territory. We checked the coronary angio, and the left coronary angiogram showed a severe left main shaft disease with the diffuse disease in the mid LAD and distal circumflex. And the, they had some good collateral flow from the distal RCA. Next. This is the coronary angiogram from the right coronary artery. And RCA shows the mild disease, but in the distal area, PL, PDA has the severe diffuse disease and has a good collateral flow to the LAD and circumflex. Next. This is LAO caudal view and caudal view from the left coronary artery. You can see the very tight left main disease. And furthermore, there is a severe diffuse disease at the distal circumflex and you cannot see the LAD distal because it was totally occluded. Next. This is cranial view. And there's a very faint flow of the distal LAD. Next. This is another view from the spider. You can see very tight left main disease here. Okay, could yeah. you show us the first coronal angio yes, today? Yes, this is today's co first coronal mm. angio of the yeah. cranial view. TIR. Yeah. Okay, so, and if I'm going to summarize this patient, 55 years old male and uh, uh, long history of the diabetics and also ex smoker and the very young patient yeah. and uh, stable angina. So, and this is the epicranial view, and the, there is a very tight uh, distal lemmain stenosis. Also, uh, mid LED part looks like a total occlusion. There is a very nice uh, uh, collateral flow from the RCA region. Next one. So, and uh, uh, this is. Uh, uh, the RAO coral view two zoom and we can see the very tight distal and main also sock distal also occluded the yes. next one. Oh, okay. So and at this moment, uh, I would like to uh, ask uh, what would be the 
uh, best uh, treatment option, this uh, relatively young 55-year-old male with the diabetic patient. Okay. So we have lots of discussions in the, according to the, the main truly uh, shocked disease, peritonitis stenosis, and another disease for the far distal LED here. LED though, so any any comment from the panel from moderator? Um, don't work. This is Alan I, I here. So, um, the 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 piece that I'm not quite sure is is the distal or the mid distal LED is that occluded or is it just poor flow? Yes. From yes. left main and then obviously good collateral coming in. So, uh, that obviously if if uh, it looks like it is just a stenosis, that obviously need to be treated as well. Um, and the left main can be treated. Uh, pretty straightforward from a PCI standpoint, and then there's the mm -hmm. disease in the distal right, and then some of the uh, mm -hmm. circumference branches. So the question is whether he's a surgical candidate. Uh, why would not do surgery versus PCI? Yes. So, yeah, yeah diabetic. I, absolutely. Uh, there is a, a first one question. First, um, uh, mostly important question for this patient, 55, and the diabetic patient, and the multi basal disease. I think it definitely. Bypass surgery is good option. So, and uh, looking at the RCA collateral and the distal flow, but is not uh, sufficient uh, for the limb artery the attachment. And uh, so, and the, the we already passed the wire LED, and the, and then the mid LED passed small balloon. And then looking at the distal LED part, uh, flow is not so good even after balloon angioplasty that mm -hmm. was, uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm wondering is uh, that would be some good conduit for the bypass surgery. Yeah, that is right. also one of the debated right. part, yeah. That's a point, right? Even uh, PCI versus bypass surgery is really, uh, you know, still uh, yes. pretty much concerned. However, just to go back, explain the distal part of it is it not appropriate yes. Yes. for the, yeah. you know, I and astomosis. Yeah. So for particular these cases, we have to consider yeah. uh, still, you know, PCI would be good or yeah. be good. So, and the, so yeah. we, we are some progress, some part, and the, we, we can show you and the distal LED the part. And, the, mm -hmm. you know, initially, and the, we are concerned about the wire pass is so difficult, but luckily wire very easily passed. This is a shown blue wire and they used the microcaster. Wire was a, a very easily passed. There was mm -hmm. good sign. And the next one. Mm -hmm. And then we are past the microcaster. Is the uh, there is some resistance, but uh, easily past the next one. And then here is the distal part, and we are make sure there was true rumen. And then we change the BMW wrong wire, and the next one. So and the mid LED part, we are implanted the 2.0 balloon. Is there was a total occluded region, and the next one. And then um, the uh, you know some just wire passage or left main flow totally occluded, the team is zero. And so we are abruptly the inflated 2.0 balloon. And next one, yes. next one. And mm -hmm. then this is uh, some totally occluded part and uh, some upper part and next one here. Mm -hmm. And after nitro induction, we are checking up the, how the distal bed is looks like. Uh, the next one is a one zoom. This is uh, the previous one. So, and uh, this is the uh, mid LED part total occluded, and we are implanted the mid LED total occluded part. We don't touch any yeah. distal LED part. So, I think uh, that is uh, uh, how do you think that would be good for uh, bypass surgery conduit or any, any some suggestion? Okay. All right, from panels. Alan. Yeah, I, I, I think, you know, a lot of times we always think about PCI or surgery. I think this is a case that is actually PCI first. And then in the future, if he, for example, whatever reason progressed, he could have passed bypass surgery because you define the anatomy much better and fixing mm -hmm. that mid, the distal LAD. The reason is this, if they bypass the uh, mid, let's say you send him to bypass, they might bypass the mid part of the LAD. Mm -hmm. Then the distal is not revascularized. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of the branches potentially in the diagonals are not uh, revascularized because the left main is trapped on that mm -hmm. side too. So if you put a distal, so I think this this is a good case that actually P 
PCI is really to help define anatomy and also to help define the sort of, is it a total occlusion in mid-LED? Fix that, fix the left main, fix what you can, and be fine, great, but they progress in a year or two, he still can have bypass surgery. Yes, yes, very nice suggestion. And the next I mean, one, so, okay, and next one. Sorry. Next one. Yeah. So we are, the soccer is also a problem and the after left main inflation and the soccer flow was much dominant, but this time soccer was, uh, there is some very subtotal region. Next one is why are we going to use the initially shown blue and it does not pass well. We are changing the BMW wire uh, and next one. And the BMW wire is luckily passed and the distal part is nearly total, subtotal occluded part at that moment and we are inflated the balloon and next one 2.0 so and the, okay next one this is 2.0 so and the, this uh, this is the you know uh audio coral view we can see there is some suck osteum and the prox suck there is some disease and the distal LED and the very poor uh the uh, vascular bed and next one so, and that we are totally evaluated the IBUS, how much plug significant in the digital LED, also uh, how the suck ostium in the previous one. So on the basis of just the angiography alone on this view, we cannot decide our optimal stenting strategy. It's a spiral view, suck ostium, it looks okay. And this view, and the, there is some significant, could you show the spiral view? Yeah. So, and the, Spider view and the spider view. Some, oh. some dissection over the over the circumflex sourcing. Oh uh, no no, uh, the, there is no. The, yes, uh, this is the spider view and the, there is some heaviness and the, there is no dissection. Uh, coronary angiogram we don't exactly define how much uh, plaque was the extent of the yeah. suck <coughs> so we totally evaluated the suck and LED. Yeah. So can you explain the LED, LED? IBUS and then the suck ostium IBUS? All right. Okay. Yes, this is the LED pullback from the distal LED. Yes. Okay, I will show you with NGO. Mm -hmm. yes, this NGO. And we check the IBUS from the distal LED distally to the totally occluded part. As you can see, the vessel size is a little bit small, uh, and um, there could be some spastic component. But the here, Goodbye. the vessel size is the 2.75 at the the after ballooning. We performed the 2.0 compliant balloon at the totally occluded part, and as you can see, there is diffuse atherosclerosis on the distal to with LAD. This is just approximate to the the this tar uh, diagonal branch, and here is the most most uh, occluded, most tenuity part that total occluded. Be, part. Yeah, previous yes. totally occluded. You can see very severe, high plaque burden with attenuated plaque, and you can see a small degree of the, the balloon related dissection. And approximately, we are moving, and here still the total occluded, and here was the would be the opening. Of the total occluded part. Ooh, big person. Yeah, it's yeah. big vessel. Yeah. The size and the is middle LED. more than four, yes. very large. The huge plus. Yeah. The problem is that if we treat the distal part, where would be the stand landing zone of the of the, the mm -hmm. mid LED? And we progressed to the proximally, and still there is a diffuse yes. intermediate plug burden. And there is no if, if you normal, put the sp yeah. spot stenting that was a proximal yes. landing, yeah. landing zone, yes. however, is a you know a huge plug still over here, and then upper part also some there is a narrow narrowest portion. Yeah. We cannot leave alone all this part. It's just a medical treatment. We yes. should treat that region. And geographically looks okay, but it's a ibus uh, lumen area less than three point zero. Uh, the plug burden more than 70%. Yeah. Yeah. Except that branch came in, but mm -hmm. still there is a large plug burden to the proximal LED. Here is the proximal LED, and we could not find the normal mm -hmm. or minimal mm -hmm. plug burden area. Yeah. Yeah. Diffuse disease. Still LED, yeah. 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 yeah, still the proximal LED, and the, yeah. Yeah, small chocolate. Here is the very right? proximal LED, and mm -hmm. you can soon see the, the left main. Okay. Yeah. Here is the Prox LED, nearly yeah. LED osteum part. 
and mm -hmm. then you can see is the soccer costume is coming mm. at it's the 11 11 o'clock over here is uh, looks uh, okay but it's uh, we don't know you exact uh, it, on this view and the soccer costume looks okay yes. but we don't know you yeah. check the plug this is the distal lamp main some lobsters. yeah some is a wind, balloon yeah balloon is 2.0 and a huge huge plug yeah. and uh, yeah, also we check the sock yes could you could you change the sock okay can you explain yeah this is a circumflex run from the proximal circumflex as you can see the uh, the vessel size is about 3.0 or a little bit more and here would be the the mild plug area and proximally we move and you can see some the negative remodeling of the vessels. And can you please move faster? Uh, over and, here, okay. And this, this proximally, is, there is uh, the play. region with the tight plugs uh, at the proximal plug. yeah. uh, complex. Uh, yeah. plug, uh, natural, natural yeah. uh, play. Uh. And here is the very proximal circumflex. So we we can in, see the going into the yeah, that was so called here. Yes. Wow. Pretty much like small yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look different from the LED pullback. So and the LED pullback so costume mm -hmm. is okay, but the real the soccer pullback yeah. is yeah. a eighty percent plug burden, lumen area less than two point zero and very severe. So and the here is a, we're gonna check it up the angel. This is one zoom. Angel, push out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So and uh, we are already two balloon and we are do yeah. is a further the PCI procedure and any comment or any suggestion from the panel? Any or, yes. Huge plug and the, the multi vessel disease and the young patient with the diabetic. Uh, absolutely very diffuse disease, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Especially for the mid portion of LED, I, uh, I you know, uh, think about the BBS. By <laughs> <Our> observable <laughs> scaffold, yes, very yeah. perfect, you know, uh, candidate for diffuse disease for particular these cases. And uh, main and LED ostium, let main is very diffuse disease, you know, uh, continue connected. And so uh, proximal circumflexes also have some disease. So you. Uh, actually have to some multiple stand or overlapping stand from yes. the mid portion of the LED yes, and yes. Uh, finally you know uh, stand crush okay. if, if for the bifurcation of the main right A absolutely and that is my okay Dr. Yes. Hong what do you think actually this is a uh, typical appearance of uh, the mm. uh, diabetic patient in the eyes mm. finding is uh, the or plaque, uh, usually uh, distributed uh, the plaque burden in the whole LED. So the uh, for the decision making for the situation, the PCI is uh, the, uh, another good option. However, the we think about the, what is the, the final total stand length in this patient. Absolutely. If we yeah, deploy the, the stand um, mid or a little bit more distal. I think I expect the, the uh, total stand length more than a 100. Absolutely. Ready, and uh, there is a, the another uh, region in the uh, circumflex, and uh, the, the angiographic appearance. There is another uh, big obtuse marginal patient. So, well, uh, let's think about that. If this patient was a, a, a randomized some study protocol, the uh, PCI versus the uh, bypass surgery, and then. There is uh, some uh, least stenosis in the far distal uh, obtuse marginal mm -hmm. range is uh, counted. Okay, one recanalization. It, it means that the, we, we deploy the, the too long stand deployment, mm -hmm. so therefore the chance of the recanalization might be uh, the higher. Mm -hmm. I believe that the <coughs> DW the uh, fixed the dissipation was uh, the excellently was wide open. Mm -hmm from the, the mid to the left main and the circ and the obtuse marginal but the, uh, i worry about that the total stand length might be a, a yeah. longer too uh, much yeah that I, is I, I, I fully agree there is the most critical point in this moment and the, 
Also, and the, this patient is reported by pet surgery, also cardiac surgeon is so always uh, asked so which part would be distal anastomosis part. There was a real dilemma for yeah. diabetic patient, even young patient, yes. So, and the, we, we're gonna uh, decide on the basis of IBUS, and the, we are decided, uh, as uh, the, uh, Professor Hong mentioned, we are decided to require full uh, region coverage with the long stem balloon. This is a 275. Yep, through the book get tested. This is one yeah. jaw. May, may may I have some questions? Uh, this okay. was I'm from Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Uh, from, from this, uh, I was finding. I think uh, uh -huh. this is a very diffuse disease yeah, in the yeah. LED, uh all the way. So yeah. I think yeah. if we yeah. want to yeah. avoid. Uh, the long, long full metal jacket. Maybe the distal part we can can we treat with a drug eluting balloon and maybe just send to the mid part of the LED. I think that's maybe another option that you can avoid the full metal jacket. Togo, I think it's okay, right? Okay, uh, We don't care about the fat distal part of Okay, got it. Here, go. This is two from five. Six, Make a big eight, lumen, ten, still ten, lumen, just like Dr. Hong suggested, 275. Okay, 275. Yeah. Deplete. Uh, okay. Well, maybe it's three old something, right? So I this agree. Are, yeah, these are What I mean is that the angiographic appearance yeah, four, is that it's eight, smaller, ten. but mm -hmm. the IVS finding uh, is that the big vessel. Okay, big vessel. deplete. Yes. Here. Still, you know, for particular this case, there's a lot of discrepancies uh, between the, you know, job. Eyeball evaluation sure. and uh, IBIS findings. Good. So we Excellent. clear by so uh, opening to the IBIS. All right, we're right. gonna make it more big, mm. you know, stain area or something like that. So, and uh, this right. patient uh, to, see. to see. save a number of stain, and we decide to two, one long stain and one another long stain. In the LED part, we treat the two stain, and uh, on the basis mm -hmm. uh, of I boost the distal part size is 2.5, and we decide to some negotiation of size 2.75. Yes. Proximal mm -hmm. part we are dilated fully. This is a 3.75. Uh, 3.5. 3.0 uh, NC. 3.5. And then we, we're gonna do the crush yeah. and then yeah. the put the uh the high pressure balloon yeah. dilation. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, three point five. Yeah. Okay. The circles circle circumflex, circumflex. Yeah, so we're gonna do crush and the three point zero on the basis I I boost at twenty eight. Yes. Okay, this is a three point five. And see and she balloon. Okay. Okay. Two zoom. Two zoom. Yes. Epicoda. Epicoda. Rich. Great. This is a 3.5 in balloon. Okay. And then 28. Okay. Stand for the circumflex you know? yes. yes. Right. All right. Great. Great. You don't disease. you don't need the predilation for that. Uh, yeah, just the distal part we predilated, and this is a, mm. just the direct stenting. I mean, there's so much disease in this gentleman, so you, you basically need to look at um, you know the proximal vessels and fix them, and then you, you can decide how much more you want to do. Clearly, the left main and mid LED are the two the worst culprit. Um, Anchoring other sticker, LED. Mm -hmm. 자, LED mm -hmm. go. 6, 8. 8. Maybe the anchoring. Yes, okay. Go. And push in the circumflex is there, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, right. That is a choice. Okay, this is a LED. What is LED? It's a LED. And then here. You suck. Yeah, suck stand. Chart. Okay, test. Test. Slightly pull back more. Center is much quicker. You ready? Yeah. You suck. Chuck the now girl. Okay. Well, pretty, yeah. uh, test. All right. Test. Okay. I'm checked. Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, push. Okay. I think. Good. It, however, I think it's too much. Right. Uh, the bean crust would be okay, right? Okay. Uh, all right. Depending on you. However. Okay. 
orkester. You know, <laughs> small difference. Yes, go. Uh, why not? We are not talking about you know technical okay. aspects. Yes. So at this moment, I would like uh, recent. Uh, I prepared some technique. Three point zero NC balloon over here. Previously, what size? Yeah. actually, what size? What what size of stand? For yeah, yeah, this is a three point zero twenty eight uh, giant. Uh, 3 .0, yeah, three point zero. Right. So. And sometimes uh, wire passage is very difficult. Also, configuration is not good. This is some uh, not DK crush. This is our the invented technique. So, uh, we uh, tried to several cases. There was a very, we have a nice result and the wiring is very easy. This is NC balloon. Before crushing, we did uh, some adjunctive NC balloon and people crushing. This is a three point uh, zero. zero. And see balloon. Oh, the circumflex? Yeah, right. And the people crochet, we did uh, uh, <coughs> almost similar with the DK crochet. Uh, no, some some <laughs> similar, but it's not exactly the same. Uh, not exactly. However, yeah. you want to do not. high pressure inflation for circumflex? Yes, right. All right, it's more. <coughs> 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 All right, so we to do it. We have to do it. We have to do LED가 조금 더 들어갈게. 이게 LED. LED and another anchoring is. So you want to fully expand the stent of the circ and then you crush it. Is that what you're doing? Right, right. 자 여기서 한번 지금 스텐 안 나왔지? 여기 LED. Short. Okay. Suck. Suck. Yeah. The impact of uh, the non-compliance of a balloon you, you, you uh, at the, the asim of the surf is uh, yeah. the, uh, very difficult, right? right? To get in. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Suck wire. It's a clinically very Suck useful. Wire. Wire. The the reason why usually in the asim of the side branch is uh, uh, one of the, the uh, narrowest or uh, frequent lesion of the, the uh, negative remodeling, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it is not easy to the usual uh, stand balloon or uh, some uh, the other compliance balloon. So touch away with a non compliance balloon to <coughs> achieve the more uh, bigger stand area is uh, one of the, the uh, uh, good uh, uh, technique. And uh, the uh, actually mm. initial LED? the angiographic appearance uh, the high OM is uh, the uh, not a small of uh, best after the the, the uh, touch of the the uh, stand uh, I'd like to recommend that the wiring in the, the uh, high OM branch. Mm. Mm. Six eight. eight okay, the ten, non compliant ten, balloon. Ten, okay. The used Deplete. one is more difficult Sokka to wire, repair the wire. any stand. Is it like a you know stick uh, stand okay. like a characteristics and so uh Dagu use the anchoring again. Yes, right. LED balloon and push in the circumflex balloon. This is still part. Circumflex or cell part. Six, eight, eight. Ten, ten, twelve, twelve. Yeah. Okay, deplete. Actually, Perry Ostium of circumflex okay. is bigger ten, than, ten. as I remember, okay. three, five, something is very big, that's all right. So, LED, this is LED, right? Yeah, this is LED, you can put it, just bend it, it's like a circle. Here, and this is uh, the, you know, pre, the significant uh, dilation, okay, go. Yeah. This is NG. So close. 20. 20. 24. Okay, deplete. Okay, go. 20. 20. Okay, deplete. Uh, if you're gonna do, and uh, this is pre, you know, consolidation and the wire passage also, even use the NC balloon can yeah. pass that region. Okay, remove After, circle. Mm. Okay, over here. And then crushing. And then the crush go. 6, 8, 10. 10. 12, 14, 16. 16. 
Okay, to play, to play. Pull the balloon out yes. to the further, further and main side. Okay. okay. Yeah. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 14, 16, 20, 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. The landing of the sidebar stand. 일단은 오버랩 된거 같다. 맞지? Need to do a nano crush. 그지? 오버랩 된 거. 딱 맞네. 자, 옆에 우리 오스 한번 보이지. 눈에. 샬로. Many of time the rewiring and the expansion of the oscill shirt will be better. Because most of time the overlap is better. The tighter over the oscill shirt. But with this method, we find the expansion of the oscill shirt better. 괜찮다, 그지? 자, 보, 보. 좀더 빌리브. Stop way to to do this step to shock the fourteen. Okay, the plate. Okay, here and then LED. We gonna do fourteen. 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 Fourteen.
uh, this uh, left mine bifurcation and both proximal LVD and circumflex. Uh, here's nose cardiovascular history. Next, please. And he's a uh, 50 year, uh, 50 pack years ex smoker and recently stopped smoking. And next, EK showed normal sinus rhythm. Next, uh, chest X ray showed uh, no cardiomegaly or uh, no activity during the lung. Next, and he didn't do the uh, lung invasive studies. And next, next, please. Okay. Uh, I see showed the proximal middle diffuse stenosis. And next, uh, this is a left corner angiograph from CODA view. And we can see the distal main uh, stenosis and uh, uh, pro uh, this is the circumflex uh, subtotal region. And next, this is this a cranial view. And the proximal LED also has a diffuse stenosis. Next, oh, and this is yeah. a spiral view. And the proximal circumflex Ooh. is very tight. Very and tough. Next, uh, we performed the PCI at IC uh, yesterday. And next, uh, we, uh, we, we performed the left main bifurcation and succumb, and we like to uh, see the IVUS. Next, so uh, Professor An, please continue to this case. Uh, thank you very much. Very kind, very nice introduction. Actually, we, 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 we may have a very large of discussion point, so the how to treat it for this patient. Uh, could you give us uh, your advice? All right, surgery uh, is, uh, you know, good candidate for surgery. Alan, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> yes, it, it, it's a candidate for surgery, but I think it's, so again, so diffuse disease in in the third and the right. And I think this, this is also a, a PCI first candidate. And then if things you know, reach the nose and so forth, and then he could be a candidate for surgery as well. So it kind of flipped the conventional thinking almost because there's so mm -hmm. much the disease that the surgeon's not going to be able to bypass all the stuff without leaving a lot of trapped vessels behind. So, so I think it's uh, certainly the circumflex is mm -hmm. distally secluded. So whether you want to approach it first or you can approach it later, um, the ramus or the high OM branch also has a stenosis um, but that can be stented in the body. Um, most likely you would need to stand from here. The circumflex is, you know, diffuse the disease, but kind of big distribution. What do you think, Nakamura? Is for, uh, this is for your cases, or what do you think? Is it PCI versus, uh, you know, bypass surgery? Okay, thank you. So, uh, this patient is 71 years, so I prefer to use a PCI first. And then mm. the looks uh, classified in the distal left domain uh, in a sarcophagic site. So uh, if we can do the ablation, like a uh, diamond back, pull back to me, and if we can reduce the plug, we can put the stent in the LED direction. Mm -hmm. Olam, oh, what I do you think? Uh, case for PCI because of the patient's oh, age. Right. <laughs> and also, uh, also depends on your CBC support. Our CBC support is not that good, so probably PCI is the best. And it's very reasonable in this case too, because the residual syntax is very low. If you fix the circumflex and then do the PCI on the two stand application for that main, you have already finished, I'll say, the residual syntax. Actually, it's a quite good PDF path. And then, uh, very low, so almost mm. low. So mm. you can proceed, and even even with ISR, you can go for CBG for AD because you won't mm. have to AD for this case. Great, great. You are you are all aggressive, you know, biased uh, intervention cardiologist. Uh, anyway, Alan agree that uh, this case is would be the uh, candidate for PCI. So, Dr. Han, how would you do that? Yes, uh, uh, my opinion is uh, the I prefer the PCI because the patient is young and on, another consideration is many branches. So the bypass surgery is not easy to understand. I admire my surgeon, but uh, sometimes the, the, um, all, uh, mm -hmm. all, all arteries uh, sometimes cannot be anastomosized mm -hmm. by the bypass surgery. In addition, mm -hmm. if you look at the uh, Bifurcation anatomy in detail, it looks very aggressive, but uh, it looks like the very simple, the left main bifurcation because uh, high OM is very big, 
but the OEM branch Austrian which looks fine. Right. So, so the uh, I was finding is very important. Uh, before the before doing the left main bifurcation PCI, I I one stand put the circumflex first. Could you show us? Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah. This is a part for us. Next. Next. Previous. 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 Left vein bifurcation so very tight. The wiring is not easy, particularly to the circumflex Austin wiring is not easy. All wire mm -hmm. go through the high OM. Next, please. Next. Insert wire to the LAD. Next. Next. Yeah, try to the circumflex wiring not easy. Go up to the uh, OM. Next, please. OM branches. Yeah. yeah, so the, I use the double lumen catheter. Next. So using the double lumen catheters, I can insert the wire to the circumflex. Next. Mm -hmm. So the, after the circumflex ostium, then insertion, and I, I pre dilatation for the circles. Next. And I insert the, uh, this, for the distal wiring, I insert my catheter. Next. 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 It looks like a CTO, not tough CTO, easy CTO. Next. Next. Next, I implanted uh, next. I implanted uh, two five twenty three to the media circumflex. Next, next. Yes, this is the uh, current status. Ready? Ready. All okay, right. I played lattice circumflex and LAD with the uh, two five, uh, two five balloon. So could you show us the uh, circumflex to the left main pullback IVOS imaging? Great, great. You, uh, you do, Dr. Ahn, you yeah. do balloon, uh, balloon inflation for the OM branch at all? Yeah, because uh, the circumflex uh, uh, balloon is not easy to passing through. The, so mm. the, I did the uh, left main to all OM right. first. Mm -hmm. Very angiographically, not too much prior on those still part of OM branches. Yeah. And so basically, I don't want to touch for yeah, that, right? Yeah, me too. Like, uh, stand crossover for that. And so, yeah. however, you did balloon inflation, and I was finding so to be helpful for you. Yeah. Here is uh, uh, OM branch is coming from the 7 o'clock. OM mm -hmm. most of it looks fine by mm -hmm. uh, the circumflex fullback. Here is a left main bifurcation. Left main is very huge, more than 4 O. Could you show us the circumflex ostium? Okay. Circumflex ostium is also very huge, or, or around the 4 O. Mm -hmm. Could you show us the OM branch pullback? OM pullback. This is OM. Great. Uh, mm -hmm. Proximal Great. OM looks very fine. So I implanted. Ostium? Yeah, this is the ostium. I implanted Great. two five balloons. So. Great. Perfect. Three of the digits, very small digits on the very ostial part of the OM branches. Yeah. However, I think it's okay. Yeah, here is, uh, you can see the two wires from the LAD to the circumflex. In mm -hmm. the middle is the OM branch. So could you show us the LAD pullback? Huh? This is LAD pullback, mid LAD. Run mm. fast, fast, please. Okay, stop here. Here is the proximal LAD. Vessel size is almost 4 O. Mild mm -hmm. plug. So I like implanting the distal stand here. You're right, great. Distal. And again, the narrowing. One, two, here, three, four, yes. almost four. Yes, here is the Austin of LAD. Circumference is coming from the 12 o'clock. Here is the left main. Left main is more than 4 o. Almost 5. Yeah. Stop, please. Great. Okay. So after uh, I was evaluation, mm -hmm. my strategy uh, changed uh, very simple. Just the two-stand cross technique. So mm -hmm. 
the anatomically very complex, but uh, after I was evaluation, my, mm -hmm. my, uh, we always, uh, they always said that uh, keep it simple. So simple right. to, to stand technique. Any suggestions? Actually, the OM branch angle, you know, uh, between the circumflex propo and OM branch is very steep, and so I think it just stand crossable to be okay. And that is another, you know, tips and technique concern. And Dr. An suggests that just to choose and a crushing for the circumflex and main. Any other suggestion, Yong Gi Hong? Uh, in this case, uh, the. Uh shows us uh, the uh, real value of the, the imaging. Uh, what I mean is that if we do not use uh, the uh, intracranial imaging, maybe mm -hmm. uh, some oh, intervention is to try to the fix it, oh, uh, the ostium of the, the big obtuse marginal brain, which Great. is stand uh, or free stand. What I mean is that the stand in the, uh, the circumostium or additional the obtuse marginal branch and the LAD. So it means mm -hmm. that the uh, cause uh, the uh, crowding of the stent strap uh, the, around the, uh, near the, the left main bifurcation. However, we clearly, uh, Dr. Han clearly shows uh, the ostium of the, the big obtuse marginally clear. So we don't mm -hmm. need uh, the additional touch of it. Right. So only fix it the two stent right. is that the quite reasonable. And uh, so that is the, the value and the demonstration of the, the uh, uh, intracranial imaging this kind of complex lesion in mm -hmm. angiographic appearance. Okay, any suggestion from Ko? Ongo? Yeah, thank you for, for, for you? asking me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that looking at the IVAS images, the distribution of the plaque is opposite side of Carolina. So I think it might be better to pre-kissing balloon for plaque modification to get mm. the optimal stenting expansion in this case. Before. Dr. Han, you, would you do the direct stent or? Yes, uh, I, I favor the direct stent because uh, the plug looks like a soft tooth rather than calcified. Mm -hmm. so after however, however, the degree of stenosis is very tight. Mm -hmm. The angulation is very steep. And so I was concerned about, you know, okay, why not try that one? Yeah. So mm -hmm. after I, uh, I, I uh, can I have some suggestion. I think um, maybe because uh, it is very difficult to do. Oh, <laughs> oh very easy, right? Oh, <laughs> all right, great. Uh, otherwise, I may. Mean, <laughs> I'm really concerned about you know acute angulation. Is too much very yeah. tight stenosis. Yeah, maybe the honest view is very good. Uh, okay, oh, I I may one more tip. To remove the protect wire of the OM. Anyway, I think it, it, Great. it not cause, uh, sometimes it will hinder the delivery. But now it seems very good. So, uh, Jun Ming, are you going to use the same technique that you would, uh, you know, fully dilate the circumflex stent with the NC balloon? Yeah. Before crush? Is that what you would do? Yes. Uh, I think okay. this is very useful and very simple yeah. to make yeah. a, a perfect opposition of a circumflex ostium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Test again. I think that that technique will be especially helpful. Let's say you have a stenosis in that uh, obtuse marginal branch. Let's say there is actually a severe stenosis. Then you, now you have to deal with stenting that as well, right? So now if you want the DK crush three, two separate bifurcation, it's a, a lot of pain, a lot of back and forth. So I think that same technique can be applied to, to the OM if the OM has a stenosis in the proximal portion, right? So you can just deploy that stent fully, distend it that, put a stent in the circumflex and then at the end you can do a kissing two steps kissing of the om circ and circ left main uh, led left main so i think this technique simplifies a few steps so that you can deal with trification a little easier otherwise dk crush for trification is a lot of back and, back and forth so what what is the next yes, uh, same with the uh, uh, dw technique before crushy I like to apply the high pressure for the circumflex ostium. Non-compliant? Yes, non-compliant to 35, high pressure balloon. Mm. The Same uh, size or different size? Uh, uh, we measure the circumflex ostium by eye with the 4 o but uh, personally 4 o is too big, so I, I, uh, I selected a 3.5. Mm -hmm. and, and the stand was a 3 o what was the stand size? Stand is uh, 35. Okay. Uh, I have some suggestion, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, uh, I, I don't, uh, in this situation, 
need to use a new uh, non-compliant clone uh, because um, sometimes it's difficult to deliver it. Yeah. Uh, I will just uh, put the, the stand clone a little bit back and high pressure. And okay. then it will be the same result, I think. Okay, mm. I agree I with your opinion. So I mean, now, you uh, see it's not easy to deliver the non-compliant bloom to synchrome flex stand. Yes, okay. I agree so with your opinion. Try. Yeah, okay. I try to again. Okay, compliant for the circumflex stand. Yeah. All right, uh, actually we did we did an IOC examination, right, before yeah. there are any okay. procedure. And okay. so, depending on the different plaque characteristics, is for particular this case is, you know, the circumflex mm -hmm. ostium, very soft plaque, why don't you do the, you know, conventional balloon, stand balloon, high pressure inflation for those ostium. That is more, you know, Ten. sometimes it's a practical. Depletion. Yes, depletion. We can also uh, first uh, stand balloon high pressure and then right. deliver the non-complaint. Uh, yes, the uh, different. Uh, it is uh, angle. Okay. Yeah. 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 Many of the time uh, we just use the stem balloon full back and then inflate it in 16, but sometimes still uh, stem balloon just here. Not compliant to, balloon, just stem balloon just here. Stem balloon just here. You can mm -hmm. test the stem balloon in case if uh, in stem balloon the awesome stem do not expand well, then uh, we will so, this step use NC balloon. If uh, stem balloon everything well, sometimes we just save this step just cause. But the key is still the protrusion of the side branch stem. Uh, make sure it's minimal protrusion. Uh, I fully agree with your opinion, so the, I try to again the circumflex those tier balloon first using the stem balloon because the stem balloon is just non-compliant. Oh. No, 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 Jimmy. Yeah. I, I think uh, uh, we, should, uh, we, we, we shouldn't we uh, should pull it back. Hmm. Just uh, after... Uh, the, yeah, I, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. so sorry, Do I, I missed the... A shorter balloon will be better. Mm, uh, eight, okay. or eight or twelve uh, non-component balloon would be better. Yeah. But uh, because of some the angulation, the new balloon insertion is not easy. So I try. Mm -hmm. I, I I'm doing the my procedure. Ready. Ready. What is edit next? In, edit inflation. Uh, crushing first. Yes, crushing first and then read. All right. Ready. Ready. Ten. Ready. Ten. They were confident, so then it's straight. All right, there is another 10, choice. 12, 12, 30, 14. Mm -hmm. Deflation. Yes, I I think this this is a very right angle for the second yeah. plate. Yeah, and also the, the OM see the... branch is right angled for the circumflex branch. Uh, maybe uh, keep it simple, key standing for, for the circumflex. And just stand cross over from left Ready. hand to LED and finish with the kissing and, and maybe three three balloon okay. kissing all together. You may need uh, ping pong guiding or something like that. I fully agree with your opinion. So because of a big angle, the further the circumflex austere dilatation is not easy. So the I'm doing now I'm doing the conventional crush technique. Mm -hmm. So you want to do stand for the LED? Yes, stand for the LED. This is your uh, four. What size? O. What size? What length? This is your four O. Length wise. Twenty three. Twenty three. Yes. You you don't want to cover the you know, distal part of LED. Yeah? Yes. Just proximal. Just a, yeah, just proximal. All right, right. Test. 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 Okay. Great. Ready. Uh, inflation. Inflation. Air pressure. Six. Six. Eight. Eight. Ten. 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 The size is big enough, right? Four, five, almost five. Twelve. 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 Pressure. Sixteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Deflation. Four point three. Four five high Eight. pressure balloon, please. Eighteen. Yes. What size? The final balloon. Four point two. Four point two, right? Yeah. And what is next? You wanna do the four high pressure five? high pressure balloon four o. Four o. Yes, high four. pressure balloon. Four, four o high four pressure zero. balloon. Don't complain, right? Yes, right. 
what is the left main vessel size? For O is small. Yes, I think <laughs> so. so. I yeah. Know. If you got a you know twenty atmosphere, maybe four point two, four point three something. Great. Fourteen. 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 Sixteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty. 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 After I was evaluation, if there is some malapposed area, I like to apply the 4.5 high pressure balloon. Long, please. Proximal stain is well opposed to the vessel wall. Okay. Please. Change to the spider view. Could you sh could you give me the wire, please? Sure. Oh, more than one one hundred eighty degree. So complex ostium angle is a very reversed angle. Mm, so you do for all high pressure yeah and then you're gonna try the wiring for the circumflex yeah. mm. here we are um. what about what about the using the double lumen catheter because you already opened the double lumen catheter for all. Great. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need I, a i'm sorry <laughs> Two, f All right, two five yeah, balloon, you. please. Great. Two five. What, what wire did you use, Jimin? Use the one Xion wire. Mm -hmm. the blue. So, what balloon do would you use for the uh, circumflex? Uh, uh, because of the uh, reversed angle, the usual mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I try to inflate using the smaller balloon. Two five. What? Two five? Yes. Compliant? Yeah, yeah, compliant balloon. Yeah. Compliant yeah. balloon. Yeah, first, compliant right? balloon. Yeah. More easier to Ten. pass. Yeah. Alright. Depolation. Great. Ten. Um inflate for the proximal Ten. part for high and pressure push balloon. In the balloon. Uh, that is you know depolation. very important part of the tips. All right, 16, great. 18. This is a uh, compliant balloon. 18. Deflation. Smoother, smoother to pass the crushed side. Okay. For more. Mm. Oh. So the I like to apply the high pressure balloon for so complex and LAD. For so complex what side? Three point five. Three five for so complex for yeah. LAD. For, for all LAD. All right, great. So complex. Yeah. All right, uh, Dr. Oh. Oh. for a minute, so we're yeah. going to move to the uh, first Caleb and okay. we're going to see the new final result from Dogu Bak and then we Ready. will be back, right? Ready. Okay, Dr. Dogu. Okay, okay, can all you right. hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we already finished all case and uh, so, mm -hmm. and the uh, uh, digital LED part and uh, we the inflated using 3.0 yes. uh, high pressure NC balloon, next mm -hmm. one. This is a 3.0, 3.0, and then the mid, from the mid to left main, we are inflated the next one, 3.5, high pressure 20, 3.5, next one, mm -hmm. 3.5, 24. Uh, here is the boosting, main ostium. Mm -hmm. Here is a, uh, the high pressure nearly 30, and this is 3.7. And then the looking at the uh, the you know wire was very very easily passed. There was a uh, advantage really? of uh, right. you know the, we're gonna do and the pre pre yeah. the high pressure yeah high pressure, 
And then right. this is a wire was uh, just to take a 10 second. Yeah, it's, uh, right. and then next one. So, uh, actually, the you know next uh, Dr. An's case is they they took uh, just two second. Right? Two second. Yeah. <laughs> so here, we are, here, we are, we are here inflation, right? okay. Here is NC balloon 3.5, <laughs> and then here right. uh, 3.5 NC balloon. We used that was 3.0 used the balloon, not new one. Mm -hmm. You can pass that one. There was uh, some advantage of the, yeah. you know, pre-crush mm -hmm. NC balloon. Even though there was a used 3.0 yeah. NC balloon, you can pass the wear. Yeah. We, we can save the money and balloon. There was uh, our mm -hmm. reimbursement policy. Three balloon is allowed. It. We just use a three balloon. It's a complex uh, main yeah. case. Uh, and the, the NC balloon was uh, pass, easily passed, the 3.0, mm -hmm. high pressure up to 20. LED, 3.5, uh, 20, and next one, kissing, and the 10 ATM, 10 ATM, 12 ATM, 12 ATM, and next one, here is the spider view. Also, yeah. we checked the IBUS. Could yes. you show us the IBUS? Uh, first Dr. Okay. Dr. Okay. Dr. Bach, okay. Dr. Bach, yeah. okay. please Dr. show us uh, the, the uh, final angel in the spider view. Okay. The, I'd yeah. like to comment about the, the uh, Direction, direction of the wiring in the, you did uh, the pro proximal wiring or distal wiring in the side branch vessel. Yeah, there was a very important technical point and uh, we, uh, we uh, would you like the, the crush technique, some mid and the proximal part. There was the also Shaolin Cheng the preferred than the proximal past would make sure more better, more polarized and some, sometimes uh, why passage was difficult and the distal mid proxy, yeah. it doesn't matter. But is, uh, uh, if the wire passage is, is easy, we are prefer right. central or proximal part. Is there an LED here? I was finding. Okay, okay, show. Could you show us? Uh, yes, okay, this distal? is the LED. Uh, yeah, okay. LED wiring from the distal. Yeah. And you can see that at the distal edge, the stem was well approached and the this wire expanded during the mid to proximal right. and yeah, okay. with the 3.0 no and 3.5 no and C. Uh, this is uh, yeah. three we apply the 3.5. 3 okay, yeah. let's okay, play. Okay, play. Natural, play. natural, natural. And yeah, okay. And right. here is the very proximal part of the yeah. LED. And you can see that the stand was Real. very well expanded up yeah. to the lumen area is uh, more than nine. Yeah, yes. we applied 3.5 yes. high pressure yes. NC balloon. And the sock ostium is coming, it's 10 o'clock. Yep. Okay. Here is the carina. Carina, yeah. over just the one carina, sock yeah. ostium is coming. Over mm -hmm. here. It's POC. Yeah, yeah it's a POC is good. Yeah. We also checked the sock, and the yeah. shows the sock ibus. And stem was well placed uh, just mm -hmm. at the ostium of the mm -hmm. main, and okay. they well expanded more than 12 square mm -hmm. millimeter mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. this area. Okay. This is a circumflex turn, run, and this is a circumflex stem was also well uh, implanted uh, okay. at the distal natural flame. edge of the plaque, mm. and we applied 3.0 NC. Yes. And we, we applied the 3.0 yeah. in the high pressure balloon yes. dilation, and the up to 20 ATM. This is a proxy sock. Uh, you can see the uh, LED, some POC area. Yeah. This is a proximal circumflex, it's and really we could uh, measure the, the minimal stand area of the proximal circumflex, and it was 5.8. Uh -huh. That means that up to our 5, 6, 7, 8 low, the uh -huh. resistance rate would be very low. Uh -huh. okay. And here is the proximal, just proximal and edge of the, the carina. Mm -hmm. Here. Great. Okay. Yeah. Here. And okay. then this is the distal. Yeah. Okay, this is the final view, and the previous one is a. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Pre previous All one. Right, great. This is the. Uh, yeah, okay. LED view. Next one. Next. This mm -hmm. is the final, the area coral view. Next one. And the, there was a final, the spiral view. Great. So we yes, are the uh, three stenting. Yes. Uh, the two oh, is okay. long. It's a high pressure balloon and crush technique. I think it's uh, angiographically perfect, right? Still. I have some, you know, remaining issue. It's my mid portion of LED would be replaced with uh, some kind of a BBS, yeah, long yeah, BBS, yeah. Or something like that in yeah. the in the you know yeah. uh, for the uh, futures. Yeah. So, Dr. Hong, what do you think? I have uh, one comment in that the uh, uh, intracranial imaging, only one strut was uh, the uh, position in the bifurcation area. It's an excellent result. 
It is also shown in the spider view. Did you show us the spider view? Okay. Uh, spider spider view. okay. In the, when you look at carefully, in the, the lower part of uh, the RCR cell, you see a more dense area. Mm -hmm. It means that the cell was a position was uh, the RCM of cell. It means uh, your wiring was uh, the, the, even though you approximately know, it was uh, the uh, direction was uh, more distal. That is uh, the displaced the uh, 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 main vessel stent strut was uh, displaced the ostium of the cell. So personally, I recommend that the uh, uh, wiring should be uh, tried to the more distal, distal, distal. The principle is uh, the avoidance of the stent strut crow crowding is uh, far from the, the, the uh, carina. OK. All right, Dr. Tom, thank you for a nice comment. Mm. And okay. Dr. Dobubak, it really, uh, you know, thank you for uh, very nice cases, educational. So, all right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, number, uh, Dr. Uh, you. second Caleb. Yeah, all right, Dr. Yes, I today? just uh, finished uh, my procedure previous. Mm. Previous. Pre previous. Uh, I, uh, yes, I inserted a 3-5 high-pressure balloon to the circumflex and the 4-0 mm -hmm. to the LAD. So next, I did the final kissing balloon using the after high-pressure, uh, sequential high-pressure to the circumflex and LAD. And I performed the final kissing balloon. Next. What pressure did you, did you do that? Uh, for so, final kissing balloon, the only 8, eight atmosphere. But eight the atmosphere. Yeah. But the OM branch is perfect, right? Yeah, OM oh. branch, I applied high pressure up to the 2024 and LAD also 2024. So the, this is a final angiogram. Mm -hmm. Could you show us the IVUS? Yes, LAD, great. please. Here is a distal landing. I implanted the 4 stand, small minor mm -hmm. dissection to the perfect. 1 o'clock, but the distal very minor. Yeah. Almost more than 12 millimeter square in terms of uh, mm -hmm. steady area. Yes, is, the is very expansion, very expanded. Some tissue protrusion, but uh, I don't care. So, so complex is uh, coming from the 12 o'clock. No strap. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. You yeah. really make compass simple. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Great. left main is very big. Could you show us the circumflex pullback? There is a small marapost area at the uh, very proximal stand, but uh, very small acute mara position, so uh, I don't like the additional ballooning. Here is a circumflex pullback. Circumflex uh, lumen is more than, diameter is more than 3 o. Mm -hmm. OM branch is coming from the uh, six o'clock. Here is a very old team of it's a similar, similar region. Could you show us the, the, uh, this result also shown in the, the angiographic appearance in the spider view? When you look at the, the uh, spider view, well, mm -hmm. a similar comment is a uh, carefully look at the, the asthma of the cell, more dense area. Stroke mm -hmm. was a uh, more dense, it means that the Part of the, the main stand strut was uh, displaced uh, the the asthma of the cell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the stand strut was uh, not positioned in the the asthma of cell. Very excellent region. Mm -hmm. Could you measure the circumflex osteum? All right. Great. Hey, Dr. Han. Yes. It's really really good cases. Actually, you know, the box cases, the Jungmin Ahn's cases, two complex, uh, complex and main cases gave us, personally, I think, is a lame main disease, not anymore surgical disease, right? <laughs> yeah. As we have discussed a lot uh, before the procedures, the complexity, this landing zone, etc., etc. However, finally, big vessel, big stand area, we're going to make a, you know, very good long term outcomes, less than 5%, you know, TL or something like that. 
there is another you know biased personal opinion anyway as really uh, good cases uh thank you for your contribution right thank you and then you want to move on next uh, lecture session Alan, uh, please. yes hi yes thank you excellent uh, excellent cases um so we're going to have the pleasure of hearing from uh, SJ Park to talk about the updated techniques and concept 2021 from complex left main PCI. So put everything uh, back to sort of a total picture for us uh, from these two cases. SJ. Today, uh, so my talk is updated technique and concept 2021 for complex left main PCI. If you look at the efficacy concern of PCI for the main disease, and uh, recent you know, randomized studies, syntax pre-combat and over five years data is clearly demonstrate no difference, not difference between the PCI versus surgery. However, back still five years, you know, all deaths it will be higher than you know, with PCI. Five, uh, you know, randomized studies, updated meta-analysis clearly showed no difference between the uh, you know, PCI versus bypass surgery in all deaths concerned. Syntax 10 years, long term follow, all deaths actually 28% bypass surgery, 27% PCI, pre 10 years, all deaths, 23% PCI, 22% bypass surgery, absolutely no difference between the two. Uh, and so consensus of PCI versus bypass surgery, efficacy concern, PCI showed similar mortality and serious composite outcome compared to bypass surgery. PCI was associated with a higher risk of repeated vascularization or low risk of stroke compared to the bypass surgery. So recent 2018 still, you know, elective PCI for the main disease uh, guideline, uh, you know, intermediate uh, syntax scores up to 32, less than that, and 2A indications. Uh, low syntax scores, uh, class 1A is clear, not surgical disease anymore. Uh, how could you define complexity of the main disease? Actually, a syntax score is really representative for complexity of the main disease and really predictive for late clinical outcomes. I would say no. See, if you look at the uh, impact of function to physiologic study on PCI uh, based on the syntax 2 study, uh, they defer a PCI almost 31% after the you know, physiologic evaluation. If a lesion subset, you know, syntax 2 is clearly treated region is less and three vessel digit by defined physiologic definition, sorry, 8-7% from the 8-3% uh, uh, syntax 1 is the end geographic guide is three vessels. It's clear, a composite endpoint, all that's a stroke, NEMI, NED vascularization in two years, clearly similar, you know, syntax 2, functional PCI, and conventional bypass surgery groups. So we have to consider, you know, uh, physiology evaluation of uh, a PCI as a before the, you know, procedure before the, uh, decision making. And so complexity of the main disease, I would say, uh, first, and uh, location of disease and feasibility of PCI. Uh, Technical, you know, aspect, and if you look at the, some meta analysis from syntax based pre combat study, osteal sharp disease, actually PCI is good, a little bit better than the bypass surgery. So actually, not statistical difference between the two. However, distal bypass the main PCI at the years follow up data, uh, that's and my stroke is hard and hard and point and point no difference at all. So, however, unplanned revascularization and that's and my stroke, including the unplanned revascularization, a little bit is higher in you know, over the uh, PCI. So, what is the treatment issue of the main disease? Isolated osteal or sharp the main disease are not surgical disease anymore. PCI would be better. Uh, is in the true bifurcation disease. Actually, current issue is a provisional stand or upfront to stand. Uh, that is the issue. So this is very classic guideline. 
small circumflex and normal circumflex, uh, we're going to do the single stand crossover. However, true bifurcation, this is a big circumflex artery is more than 2.5. We have to uh, consider, uh, you know, two stand, provisional stand. So provisional one stand or two stand, even in the true left main bifurcation disease, the so recent published data, EV's main randomized studies, including the 467 uh, patients, they are uh, compared with the provisional, you know, uh, stand and upfront to two stand. Actually, not too much difference between the two, not statistical difference. Uh, a little bit, you know, absolute number a little bit higher in group with the systematic, uh, you know, dual stand group. This is our uh, registered data. Iris and main, we get uh, 23,000 patients. Uh, from uh, those data, the true main bifurcation PCI actually is we include the 1,000 patient and uh, actually separate with a one stand group and up front to two stand group here. And if you compare the after the IPTW adjusted, you know, target vessel failures, the death, even in the old deaths, micro infarctions and the revascularization late actually not different between the one stand or up front to two stand uh, technically. So basic concept for the main uh, true bifurcation PCI. Look at this, circumflex artery usually big enough to treat in terms of, uh, you know, uh, myocardial mass more than 10 percent by CTFFR. And if you look at the uh, side branch concern, only 20 percent of the side branch has more than 10 percent fractional micro mass. However, in circumflex cases, more than 95 percent of cases has a um, you know, more than 10 percent uh, micro mass. So circumflex artery is usually big enough to treat. To treat or not treat concerns, we have to consider FFR guided decision making. Look at this, the, the typical cases. Insignificant stenosis by angiography, 30%, however, positive 0.7 FFR values. If you look at the inside, there are some plaque ruptures, even relatively big, you know, minimal lumen at 6.2 millimeter scale. And so if you look at the mismatch concern, uh, intermediate osteoshaft lesions, 37 percent mismatches, and overall, among them, almost 26 percent reverse mismatches, and downstream, in case of downstream disease, the main disease, 29 percent mismatches, among them, 23% reverse mismatch. It will be higher frequency of reverse mismatch in uh, the main uh, intermediate digits. And next, I was guided decision making. It is another important part. It truly bifurcation the main digits by IPS finding totally different. So first case is normal. So conference host team, we want to do the stand crossover. Single stent cross of pretty good, you know, angiography result we can get. Second case is osteal circumflex is pretty much disease. We're going to do a two stent cross. And so, depending on our finding of the circumflex of proximal osteal part, we're going to uh, separate single stent crossovers or two stent technique here. And finally, we have to consider I've guided the final optimizations. Whatever you use the two stand technique, including the DK crush, mini crush, T stand, cool out, you know, uh, V stand, we published our data. The so effective stand area of five, six, seven, eight millimeter scale by IVS can make a good clinical outcome. Resource is very less than five percent and TRL less than two percent. Five, six, seven, eight in case of a main stand, you know, area. And so again, main bifurcation piece of basic concept, left the circumflex artery is usually big enough to treat, to treat or not treat concerns. You know, we have to consider FFR guided decision making, especially osteal sharp to digital subset. Uh, I was guided decision making. And finally, I was guided to final optimization. We have to consider that. What is the recent concept? A little bit different one. Up front, the two stage strategies are safe and clinically, you know, good uh, late outcomes. So this is relatively old data. So our uh, study perfect, randomized study. Uh, two stand crochet 
single stand even in the you know LED diagonal just circumference of the bifurcation non name main bifurcation this is actually quite similar you know maze rate recent published definition two randomized studies all complex bifurcation of special diameter is more than two five actually two cent technique has a little bit better statistically significant better uh, clinical outcome TLR, uh, target basically micro infarction, target region failure, etc. So, uh, true bifurcation in case of there are some, you know, uh, digit circumflex, upfront two stands are recommended for the main bifurcation digits. Large circumflex is worse of treat. We can avoid the risk of side branch closure. Clinical outcome of two stand are really good uh, compared to the single stand. So, Relatively old data, two stand by angel guided, 25% distance straight. However, uh, in those cases, uh, I'm misguided optimization effective standard of five, six, seven, eight can make a really good, you know, uh, long term distance straight five percent is almost, uh, you know, equivalent with a single stand procedures. So, effective IVS standard is most important determinant factor for good clinical outcomes. Okay, so uh, if you uh, look at the uh, example, typical example, once the cross off a normal circumflex, uh, this is a true bifurcation, look like a true bifurcation disease. However, by IBIS finding, circumflex osteum is a very minimal disease and, you know, well preserved minimal lumen area. So, a schematic, you know, figure out in the minimal disease circumflex osteum and LED digit here. And so, we do single stand crossover and high pressure inflation is up to four, uh, you know, millimeters. And angiographic result is almost perfect and not no compromise of circumflex osteum too. And the process scenario is circumflex osteum, minimal lumen area 4.7 millimeter squares, LED is 6.2 millimeter square. All right, there are many cases. Circumflex is jailing after the main stand crossover. However, the physiology concern is absolutely normal in all cases. And so there are many cases of mismatches, angiographic morphology and presence of ischemia. And we have a question just before or final kissing balloon inflations for those cases angiographically, you know, severe compromise of circumflex osteum. Among them, actually, the circumflex ceiling is only 7%. Truly, functionally, significant, you know, uh, ischemia is only 7%. So, if you look at some clinical data, uh, TLR late after the final kissing, not statistically different, however, a little bit higher, and just the T4, absolutely good in terms of a death or MI at two years, a hard, hard end point concern. And so, finally, off from the switch then, so if you look at the three, uh, three vocation disease, Ramos, LAD, and circumflex team 2, three wire in it, and then so we deploy the circumflex stand, Ramos intermediate stand. Finally, balloon crush is from the LED to the main. We have a very good, you know, angiographic results after high pressure, and we're going to deploy it, uh, uh, Long DS, 35, sorry, 8 millimeters so for LED and left main uh, areas after their optimization is in C balloons. We can, uh, after the sequence of high pressure inflation, Ramos, so circumflex, and LED, finally triple kissing balloon inflation for T4 cation is we have a very excellent, you know, angiographic. Uh, final outcomes result is here. So, uh, I was, uh, minimal room and stand area is around three or circumflex 6.7 millimeter square, LED millimeter square is quite enough for the long term outcome. So, what really matters in the main bifurcation PCI? So I would say reasonable treatment strategy is a good concept with a good technique, so can make a good clinical outcome. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Um, we have about five minutes or so to uh, either discuss a little bit about the case technique and also the left main lecture. Um, anyone has any comment for SJ? All right. Any comment, any discussion point for the main PCI, right? We're gonna yeah. Two cases uh, uh, act. 
Two cases yeah, actually, you know. Sorry. All right, Dr. Yeah, Du. Yeah, I have a question about the, the, the final casing will increase the TRI rates. And the 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 the, the TRI is only at the the, the osteo uh, osteo region at, at there. Where where is the uh, the the, the rescuation rates? You mean? Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, for some jail, the circumflex, uh, we usually do the do the kissing blow. We usually mm -hmm. do the blow. and uh, in, in the in your paper that will use the polarization rate. Uh, All right, the TRR or TVR or or. Mm -mm -mm. All right, uh, our registered data demonstrate uh, some part of uh, you know single stem crossover. Uh, uh, from the the meaning is in a relatively small circumflex, we didn't do the circumflex part of a stand procedure, and mm. particular those cases mm. we didn't do final looting kissing balloon inflation, right? Mm. However, in case of a two stand up front to two stand three stand, one hundred percent we do uh, we did kissing balloon inflation, right? to make a big stand area. And so I want to show some, uh, you know, first part of my case is after the main stand crossovers and morphologically, you know, very much compromised. However, you know, FFR is negative for particular those cases, we don't touch. And so we got some, you know, practical case experience. And so in almost all cases, just a sand crossover, small, anyway, did the did circumflex, so we didn't touch almost, uh, you know, 90%, something like that. All mm -hmm. right. So, however, two stand procedure is totally different concept. You're going to make a big stand area, it's a high pressure inflation. And finally, we're going to make a, you know, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, uh, you know, uh, five, six, eight, uh, seven, eight in, in terms okay. of a uh, stand bigger, the better. Yeah. That is our strategy, right? Yeah. So, SJ, uh, thank you for uh, excellent talk. Uh, I have one question. Do you think about the DEB? Uh, do you use any kind of the DEB in this left main bifurcation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is a uh, main, you know, uh, okay, base concept in the ISL, in any uh, vessel. Uh, personally, and uh, based on the data, anyway, the stand, uh, another stand, ODB DB is quite similar. However, uh, at a first, I tried the DB first. And then, if a patient has a re ISL, re, -re ISL, so we're going to consider. Uh, you know, another stand for that. Uh, however, we I don't have too much you know hesitation. The re reason why circumflex, anyways, a main area is quite big. You know, enough to you know accommodate a two stand, and so uh, that's not our you know main principles. So, I, so in the chat, there was a question about um, part. So. Obviously, in the DK crushed part is a, a big piece of it as well. In mm -hmm. in your technique, um, you know what DW and um, Jin Ming has shown is that uh, do you still do the parts before your uh, final kissing, or do you or even wiring? Um, what is the role of the part in in the in your technique? Mm, yes, I I believe that part is, is you know a part of a uh, you know. A uh, very important role to rewiring uh, the same procedure. However, uh, recently, uh, anyways, our uh, uh, colleagues they are defining you know high pressure inflation circumflex or step part force uh, before the you know uh, main crushing technique. That would be, uh, I think, it's helpful. However, you you gonna see that separate two cases, dog box cases, Jungmin Ans cases, just uh, you know. High pressure inflation, main branch stand, eh, sometimes it's very helpful, you know, whatever situation it is. However, Dr. Alan, you suggest the part is usually, you know, based on important role for the rewiring of a circumflex. That is my, you know. I agree with uh, the, uh, Dr. Park's opinion. What right. I mean is that the part is uh, important, it's uh, very useful, but the, it's a, mm -hmm. uh, but routine part. I do not agree with it. Right, right. Proposal right. part is uh, excellent. Right. And uh, I have uh, one question. Listen case to case. published uh, uh, paper, the uh, famous three. 
to mm -hmm. uh, treat the left main, uh, uh, the FFR guided PCI versus the bypass surgery in the left main. Mm -hmm. What about the, the your uh, uh, the comment or the opinion Hello. about the FEM3? <laughs> you have yeah. a responsible for the FEM3. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the issue with FEM3 is that whenever you have a comparing stent, stenting to surgery, and when you almost have 80% of the time, you just have stenting without even uh, FFR. You are set up to be very difficult to show priority, right? Because the power is not enough to really show any difference. The key is that, you know, in the, um, you know, in when it's not complex disease in this group of patients, the, you know, the FFR guided PCI do quite well. It's really only when very complex lesion. So the, the difficulty in this trial is that you, know, you are really not ch checking FFR that much. It's really talking about a lot of lesions are just stented. So back to um, you know, stenting versus PCI. The other big piece is that over time, both PCI and hybrid did better because the, you know, if you look at the uh, FAME 3 PCI arm, it de did better than syntax surgery. But overall, the uh, the same three surgery did better compared to the you know uh, syntax surgery because over time, I think the techniques of surgery is not that different. But medical therapy is much more aggressive now in post surgery patients. In the old days, surgeons do the surgery and they don't care; they don't even put them on anything. But now, pretty much, they are you know because hopefully educated them better and also cardiologists taking care of them better. A lot of them on high dose statin and the target LDL is much lower. So I think both arms got benefited from it. And therefore, the, in the way that the trial was designed, there's really not enough patients to really be able to demonstrate a difference. And obviously, um, you know, when you have a lot of stents, there's always difficult to beat surgery. Great. So we, uh, right, just on time to close this session. And so, Really, thank you for the all you know members to moderate our uh, moderator and panelists. I really uh, appreciate to, for your you know sincere joining us uh, for this meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. See you in the later in the face to face.